guys welcome back to all to illuminate 11 we are going to do an energy reading as we're moving into the weekend to see what's happening with divine masculine and divine feminine we've got the light seers tarot twin flame animal oracle um, the romance angels and messages from the divine masculine so thank you angels what is going on with both uh, divine masculine and divine feminine what do we need to know at this time starting with the divine masculine what do we need to know so we've got this one and one more here and then divine feminine we've got this one we've got this one and this one here okay and then thank you angels what message is coming through for the divine masculine at this time and for the divine feminine and then we've got one for the journey as well here okay and thank you angels romance angels what messages are coming through what do we need to know at this time so we're getting a message for the journey and then we're also getting for the divine feminine that one and for the divine masculine this one okay all right let's see thank you angels what is the divine masculine wanting to say at this time what messages do they have for their divine feminine so we've got that one and this one and i'm getting one more here right okay and that one really jumped out as well okay so let's see what's coming through for the journey so for the journey we've got here transition which is a powerful card a new chapter is about to begin and you are being prepared for it everything that is happening is building your strength so it's a powerful card to come for the journey. You know, you're being shown that things things are in this stage of shifting. You know, they, your journey is, is transforming. There is a change that is happening. You know, the, everything that is happening is there to build up, you, to build your strength for both you, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And that is what this journey certainly does, especially as a divine feminine. You become way stronger because of this journey with everything that you go through. But you are being shown that you are being prepared for this new chapter that is coming. That's that new chapter of that reunion, of that union, of that coming together. So your journey is going through this transition period of moving into a new chapter. It is about to begin. So powerful cards to come through. And then the other cards that came out from the angels is let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So it's a beautiful message to come through. This is also about asking for that support and help from your angels. They are there to help you and accept that help as well. But this can also be from other people, you know, other people that can be people that you watch when it comes to, you know, um, for example, on this journey on here on the channel, asking for help from others. You know, that can be, you know, when we when I do lives, which I will be doing a live later on today, by the way, you know, in the chat, you can ask for help from others as well. You know, there are always other people who are there to help others coming from love. You know, you can ask for help from me, other channels. You know, if, if you are going through something in relation to, to the journey, something that you need help with, you know, that's the message that's really coming through. But it can be also in your day-to-day -day life. You know, you may just not be, you know, be needing that help from somebody else, you know, it's people around you. And it's that message to let your friends help you. But I really feel when it comes to the journey, it's that help from above and you're getting a lot of that help. So it's about accepting that help as well. So cards that have come out for you, the Divine Feminine. So cards that we've got first of all here, we have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is the card of, you know, things moving forward. This is about action. This is about... Um, you know, I'm getting that energy as well of the third eye open and you're being guided as well on your own path. And it's about you taking action in the things that you're being guided to do. You know, when it comes to your own life, this is also guidance that you receive on this journey to help you to move forward. You know, about things that you can do for yourself, things that you're working on, things to do with your own healing is that support and the guidance and also being there to see the signs, synchronicities, the guidance that comes through for you to help you to take action in your own life when it comes to your own healing, when it comes to your mission, all those things. So you are, 
you know, in this energy of moving forward, of taking that action, you know, following the guidance that you are receiving as well. And then the other cards that has come out for you, the Divine Feminine. So we've got here the Knight of Pentacles. So what you're being shown is that there will be a positive eventual outcome. You know, when it comes to this journey with your Divine Masculine, you know, you are in the place of taking action in your own life where you need to, you know, and that's moving things forward, you know, because at the end of the day, this journey is a journey of the self. And as you're taking action, doing what you need to do in your own life, that also results in, you know, things moving forward on your own journey and, you know, things moving forward with your divine masculine as well. It's always about where you are in yourself and how you're moving forward when it comes to your own path. You know, that results in them moving forward as well in their own way, you know, in the things that they need to do. So you're being shown that as you're taking action, doing what you need to do, you know, there is going to be that positive eventual outcome of them coming to you. It's like they are on their way. You know, they are walking on the green grass there. That's about healing, you know, and they're moving forward. So, you know, one step at a time, but they are coming. So there will be a positive eventual outcome of the Ten of Pentacles energy of having all the things that you're dreaming of, you know, the family, the home, the abundance, all the, the life that you are manifesting and asking for, it's all coming in for you. So you're taking action towards your dreams, taking action in the things that you're doing, taking action in your own life, in your own healing. And, you know, that's also resulting in things moving forward. And, you know, that positive eventual outcome is coming for this journey to bring in that life that you're dreaming of with your divine counterpart, the two of you having that life together. So that's what you're being shown is coming success and, you know, all the things that you are asking for. The cards that have come out for you, the Divine Feminine, we've got love. Your loved ones in heaven are all around you, sending you love, help, and support. So you're being shown here that, you know, you are being supported on this journey in other areas of your life. Your loved ones in heaven, your ancestors are there cheering you on, helping you, supporting you, you know, guiding you. And, you know, your angels giving you all the love and, you know, even your loved ones who've passed over to the other side, they are all there helping you, supporting you on this journey because they know that this is the journey that you are here to walk. So they are supporting you and they are going to help to bring in as well that positive eventual outcome for you. You know, I feel that that's where your guidance is coming through from your angels to help you to get through that life that you are truly here to live. So beautiful energy is coming through there. And then what the card the message from the angels that has come out, finance and career, fi finan financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So what I'm getting with this card is that there's a few things. So first of all, it can be that your divine masculine at this time is focusing on their finances. You know, they are maybe busy working to sort out their finances, sorting out finances in whatever situation that they may be in. You know, it could be a comic situation where they've been held back due to finances. You know, they need to go through the divorce and, you know, sort out their finances in relation to that. Or it could be a job where, you know, they are still working hard because they are sorting their finances. So that can be what is an issue when it comes to them coming to you at this time, you know? And so that's what you're being shown. They Maybe they're focused on their career, they're busy, their material world, their 3D world, and they're focusing on that at this time. So that can be a factor when it comes to, you know, your love life, because that's what they're putting their focus in on right now. And for you, as well as the Divine Feminine, what it could also be is that, you know, it may be that you are in the situation where you may be going through some financial struggles at this time. And, you know, and I feel that if that is what's happening in you on your own journey right now, obviously there are lessons you're learning in there, but also it's about you understanding that this may be something that you may be needing to sort out first before that union can come in because, you know, part of being on this journey is not just about getting to the two of you having that life together. You know, we are learning independence in all sorts of different ways. We are learning to get into our own, you know, power as divine feminines, including when it comes to finances, 
sorting those things out for ourselves, you know, so that we can be in that good place. You know, we are, you know, this journey is there to help us master all areas of our lives, including those finances. So if that's something that you are struggling with right now, or you're going through some challenges with right now, you know, it is actually there as part of the lessons when it comes to your twin flame journey to help you to you know, to master that, to work through that and learn what you need to learn from that and then shift that as well when it comes to your own life to open up that abundance for yourself, you know, to be in that abundant mindset, to shift that so that you can get into that place of, you know, um, a better place when it comes to your finances. So that's what I'm also getting with this. So it could be a career, you know, and it's maybe something that you're needing to focus on right now. Maybe you're changing your career, but it's something that you need to do first, you know, as part of your journey to then, you know, bring in that love life as well, because these things happen in stages, you know, and sometimes you have to sort of, you know, you or, or your own path may be that you put this, a career situation in a good place for yourself and then the, the, the things fall into place as well when it comes to love you know so everything is going hand in hand you know so that may be what is coming through here so take what resonates and leave what doesn't okay and then the energies that have come out for the divine masculine so first of all we've got the five of pentacles so this energy here is really that energy of feeling left out you know, of struggle, of, you know, not feeling good. It could be to do with finances. Maybe they're struggling with their finances. Maybe that's why you got this um, message here as a divine feminine, you know, because they are struggling with their finances right now. They're going through hardship and that's what's affecting them coming forward to you at this time because they are needing to work through this. You know, and what I'm really being shown with this card is that there's a massive key there, you know, but then it's like, you know, they are sort of there feeling, you know, down and not even looking around to see how they can change the situation. They have the key to unlock that door and change their financial situation, you know, from the thoughts that they think and or, you know, just shifting to gratitude and whatever other options they may have to change things for themselves. So there's this hardship that they're going through right now. And that is what may be affecting your, your you know, the, your love life because they are going through this right now. It's something that they need to shift on their own journey. So that's what's coming through. Well, they can be going through hardship in relation to whatever situation that they're in, you know, um, where they're just feeling that they're not happy where they are. They want things to change and it's down to them to pick that key up and make the change. We also have here the King of Wands and, you know, King of Wands is about that loyalty and I feel that they are also in this energy you know, they, I am getting two energies here. There are some divine masculines who are really going through the hardship right now, whether it's to do with finances or whatever situation that they're in. And with them, they are, they are loyal to you anyway, is what you're being shown. That loyalty is there because they have that love for you. So they are loyal to you. They're just needing to sort things out in their own life first to then be able to come to you. And um, and then there are others who are also, you know, they are still struggling with certain things, certain hardships that they're still facing, but also gaining the strength now, you know, gaining the strength to find that key that unlocks things in their own life, you know, so that they can be able to come to you. It's like they're holding that wand. They're ready to move forward. They're finding that strength, you know, they're finding ways and opportunities to change things in their life. And they're gaining the strength to do that. So that's what I'm really getting as well with this card. And then, and the ones who are feeling down and going through hardship, they're just needing to find more of their strength as well to move more into this energy so that they can then be able to move forward. We also have here Wheel of Fortune. So this is fate and destiny. You know, a reminder that this journey is in the hands of God. It is being guided from above. And for the divine masculine, wherever they may be on their own journey, it's like things are being shifted into place. They will get to where they're meant to be, you know, and um, they do have lessons to go through, things to learn, you know, to find their own path and way and to change things in their own life. But, you know, the will is moving. 
things are shifting to move things into place. So they are going to get there because they have the support, you know, and he says a male presence is leading you, is, is lending you their strength. So they are being supported. So I feel here they have their own um, ancestors, you know, it could be from their paternal side, like the male ancestors are there helping them. You know, it's come through for a reason to gain that strength where they may be in that energy, where they are feeling down and they are in that hardship, whether it's to do with finances, whether it's the situation that they're in their life right now, they have the support from like, you know, um, so the ancestors, it says male for a reason, you know, they may be, and what I'm really getting is they may be ancestors who have struggled through these things because remember, you know, we are here to shift, uh, things for the generations, including your divine masculine. So these may be male ancestors who didn't manage to get past these challenges as well during their lifetime. And they're there supporting your divine masculine to help to give them that strength, that lion there. It's like that's them in the background helping your divine masculine to find the strength to pick up that key and change things in their life, you know, to pick up that key and find their way in their own life and come out of this energy so that they can hold that wand and move forward, you know, so they are having that support. I'm really getting strong energy of those male ancestors. They're helping them. You know, it could be their grandfather or even their, you know, um, father, for example, was passed over to the other side, but they are, or even, you know, ancestors from way before who are helping them through this situation to help them to find their way. So that's why you're being shown the wheel of fortune is turning. Things are moving forward. They have the support and they're being helped on this journey. So we've got here, love yourself first. That has come out for the divine masculine. So, you know, they're also learning to love themselves, you know, where they've not been, um, they haven't learned self-love during this time as well. They're learning self-love, you know, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they are learning to love themselves. Even the struggles that they do go through is part of learning self-love, you know, so they need to love themselves first to love themselves enough to do what's right for themselves, you know, in a situation where they may be facing hardship, where they're not happy, you know, to find their way. And, but they have to start with self-love. So they are learning that as well at this time. And then they are saying to you, we are one. So they're saying divine feminine, we are one, you know, and which you are, because you are the one, the one soul. And they're also saying to you crown chakra. So this is also about the crown chakra activation. This is about them getting guidance and support on this journey. They're going through that uh, change as well at this time. You know, they are opening up to who they truly are, finding help so that they can be able to find their way. So it's, this is about getting that guidance from above, help as well, so that they can be able to move forward. So, you know, this is about their connection to the divine crown chakra activation to help them to move forward. So you're being asked here to trust the journey. You know, know that it's all in um, being guided from above, the wheel is moving to help them to get to where they're meant to be. They have the support that they need. They will find that strength to move forward. So trust the journey. You know, they're being guided from above as well. And they're saying to you, our paths will cross again. So they're saying divine feminine, it will happen. Our paths will cross again. You know, there'll be that positive eventual outcome. And, you know, when the right time comes, because it's being, you know, the wheel of fortune is turning to bring it to that point where your paths cross again. So, you know, and they're gaining that strength as well to move forward. So they're saying to you, our paths will cross again. Trust me. So they're saying, trust me, I am going to make it happen. You know, I will get out of this energy. I will find that strength. I will move forward to you. You know, our paths will cross again. Trust me. So those are the messages coming through. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Sending you all so much love. But your journey is moving towards that new chapter.